In this lecture, you will launch a AWS EC2 instance in seven simple steps. In these seven steps, you will be choosing the operating system. You want the CPUs, the RAM size and also the hard disk and a few other things like security groups and optionally you can add tags. So it's super simple to create a EC2 instance. EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computer. Go to your AWS console. On the AWS control console, go to services. Under services, under compute, select EC2. That's the service we want to use. Go to running instances. For the first time, you will not see any instances here. But since I have been using it for the for a long time now, I see several instances. To create a new instance, click on launch instance, the blue button. The very first step, as you can see, there are seven steps, as I have already told you. The very first step is to choose an Amazon machine image. This is just like how you pick a VM, a virtual machine, an image for a virtual machine. This is Amazon's own way of doing it. An AMI is a template that will contain all the software that is required for your application to work. And you can install your own software on it as well. There are different types of AMIs, Amazon machine images that are available, as you can see here. Amazon Linux. This is a Linux version of Amazon. Amazon has implemented their own Linux version similar to CentOS. And you can also see other versions of Linux, Ubuntu, Red Hat Enterprise, Linux, SUSE Linux Enterprise. You can see Windows versions as well. But make sure whichever image you pick, it should be free tier eligible. See this here? Free tier eligible. I'm going to select the second one, which is again Amazon Linux AMI. The advantage of this over the first one is that it comes with pre-installed packages. So when the instance is launched, we have all these packages, Docker, PHP, MySQL, and it is free tier eligible. So these are not softwares installed. They are like installers. They are the packages which we can um, use the M command. And when we run M install MySQL, MySQL will be automatically launched on our instance later on as you will see. But if you use the first one, yes, it is free tier eligible, but you will have to pull these packages by executing a few Linux commands. So select the second one. Choose instance type. This is where you pick. So you have already picked your operating system, which is Linux. Here you can pick your number of CPUs you want, the processors. By default, the memory is 1 GB. The RAM is 1 GB. This is the only one, as you can see, which is free tier eligible. So we'll go with the default. We don't want to pay for it. You can at this point review and launch, but I want you to see all the steps. Click on next, configure instance details. This is where you can select how many number of instances you want. If you say two or three, then those many number of machines will be launched for you. We only want one. So select one. And you can leave these options as default networking and all that are advanced AWS concepts, which are covered in my DevOps course. You can leave that here. We don't need them. You will launch a simple Amazon instance. Next is where you will select the storage. By default, 8 GB is given for us. And 30 GB, up to 30 GB storage is free. And this storage is allocated on elastic block storage of AWS. So leave the defaults here as well. Next is add tags. Here you can add a tag. And every time you create a AMI or launch an instance, you can use the same tag for all the instances. Using tags, you can group a certain number of tags. For example, you can give a tag for all the Java applications. You can give a tag for all the node applications and so on. Next, configure security group. By default, a security group has certain rules. The only rule it has allows SSH connection so that we can connect it to this machine, the instance that is being launched from our local machine or from any other machine through SSH. So TCP is the protocol. Only port 2020 is accessible. And here, these zeros represent from any IP address. That's what it means from any machine. We can connect to this instance being launched through SSH. If you want to define your own rules, you can click on add rule, custom TCP. For example, if you want to open up port 80, the web server port, if you are installing web server on this machine, and later on, if you want to access that web server from outside this machine, 
you need to expose port 80 otherwise it won't work and here you will use the same pattern or you can also say anywhere and automatically that pattern will appear here if you choose my ip automatically your current machine's ip your laptop's ip will be picked up only your machine will be able to access this instance so you can choose anywhere you can give custom format like this or your own ip delete that for now we don't need it go to review and launch this is the last step where you can review everything you have selected the ami details in the first step then the instance type and so on security groups etc and you can edit each one of them before you launch the instance if you click on launch it will ask you one more thing select an existing key pair or create a new key pair so the communication the ssh communication happens through public and private keys instead of passing usernames and passwords AWS will generate a public key which will be stored on AWS for us and we download the private key to any machine that wants to communicate with a AWS instance. If you are doing this for the very first time, you will say create a new key pair, give it a name, say AWS keys. Hit this download, say AWS keys, click on this download key pair, that key will be downloaded to your downloads folder make sure you copy that key pair onto your machine some folder on your machine for example i have my key pair aws keys.pem file under my documents so you can copy it wherever you want but make sure you create a new key pair give it a name any name and then download the key pair because you will need it in the next lecture when you connect to this instance for me i already have it so i say choose an existing key pair aws keys is fine I acknowledge that I have access to that private key file, awskeys.pem. You should also do the same. Once you download it, save it to certain folder on your machine. You can put it on any folder on your machine. Then click on launch instance. See that it's creating a new instance for us super quick. Click on this instance ID. It will be launching here. The instance state is pending. Soon it will change to running. Once it's up, you can start using it. It will turn into green. So in this lecture, you have learned how to create a AWS EC2 instance in seven simple steps.